hello so i'm gonna be doing a weekend reading vlog because i realized i have no plans for this weekend so i might as well read the whole time and i feel like i'm falling a little bit behind on my june reading plans so this is gonna be the perfect time to do it i'm also setting up this like new vlog setup to try and get the bookshelves in the back Let's see if it works but I have three books on deck for this weekend and then if I finish them, which is probably very unlikely, maybe I will read more, but I think this is probably setting myself up for too much ready, but whatever. Okay, so first I have Orange Volume 1 by Ikigo Takano and this is like a manga staple. I feel like when people first start getting into manga, they always read this one and this follows some students in the 11th grade and... Basically, this girl gets a letter from her future self saying that her friend is going to commit suicide and that she has to help prevent that. And she like has a chance to help prevent her friend's death. So it seems like very heavy and hard hitting and obviously trigger warnings for suicide. But I don't know, I've had this for a while and it just feels like the right time to read it. And plus manga is like pretty fast to read, even though this is a big manga. So we'll see. This will probably take me like a night to read. But this is my plans because I'm going out to dinner tonight and then I'll come back and read this. Then for the rest of the weekend, I have two more books. The first one is an ARC that I got from Source Books, and this is What We Devour by Lindsay Miller, which comes out July 6th. So What We Devour is about Lorena, who has the power of banished gods within her. And so she's trying to just live her life as an undertaker in her small village. Um, but then the crown prince comes to like arrest someone in her village and recognizes her powers Like she makes a deal to get a fair trial for her betrothed's father in exchange for service to the crown So now she has to work for the crown with like these powers. I don't know if this is a series or a Standalone, but I'm like really excited. It has this really cool map and like those chapter headings are cool and it's just printed on like really cool paper this arc like it just feels so very nice. So I'm excited to read this. And then after that is going to be Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller, who is one, like literally I have to say that I've read all of her books and rated them all five stars. Like I adore her as an author and her books are always just like so good. Like the romances are always so sweet and they have interesting premises and these really cool setups. And this is the start of a new duology and it's about a sword maker with anxiety like that. And then she goes on journey with her sister and these two boys and like ugh. and i feel like her most underrated book by the way is warrior of the wild which is a fantastic standalone with like viking inspired with like cool stuff going on so please check it out please read every book by her because i just adore her so it's time to read this and i feel like it's not that long either so yeah so i have like these books that are all like 300 pages each about these two which is very doable for a weekend with these two and then also this which i'll be reading tonight so i figured i would vlog because it's been a while since i did like just a weekend vlog i have been doing monthly vlogs so you'll see like in july i'll have a like month-long vlog that's gonna come out but this is like separate from that so it's like kind of like it's coming out before that but this is like in the middle of that but you know what it's my channel i can do what i want Hello, so it's now Saturday morning. Yesterday I ended up reading nothing besides my book on my Kindle, which has been like ongoing for a while. Just I've been reading it in the background, like at lunch and stuff like that. I finished that because I was on the train because I actually ended up going out to dinner, which is why I didn't read anything really last night besides that book. And that book is The Moonfire Bride by Sylvia Mercedes. And it was like a really solid fantasy romance. Definitely not really spicy but i was like intrigued enough by it that i really enjoyed it so i'm gonna give it like three stars and it ended on a big cliffhanger so i'm going to start the next one and that will just also be like my kindle book that i read in the background as the days go on but my main book that i'm going to be starting is what we devour by lindsay miller and i'm starting this because i'm going to the beach so i want to bring a paperback to the beach with me nothing says summer like skulls <laughs> i actually kind of like like reading dark books on the beach i don't know what it is i also like reading romances on the beach i think i just like reading on the beach but if you don't know i do live relatively close to the beach where i am so it's very easy for me to get there so i'm like well it's summer 
and I should take advantage of the fact that I live near the beach. So that's where I'm going right now and I like just worked out so that's why I look kind of sweaty, no makeup on, like why would I put on makeup to go to the beach? So I'm going to go over there and sit my ass down near the water, probably run in, be freezing cold, run out, but it will get the sweat off of me and then I'm just going to sit in the sun and read my book and enjoy it. I'll probably be there for like a few hours, see how much reading I can get done. Hopefully like 100 pages I feel like would be a solid goal for just sitting on the beach and reading and then I'll come back and that's kind of how I want to live my life this summer every weekend because I should take advantage of the fact of where I live and then I'm also thinking of well I have these two YA books but I'm like what if I also read a romance but I'm like this is a two-day weekend let's not get ahead of ourselves I think two books is enough <laughs> but I'm kind of like mm. I think I need a lot of romances in my July TBR, which I have my notebook out. I, I don't know where I put it, but like I've literally been writing down like ideas that I have for my July TBR like as I go. Anyways, here's some Gavin. He's tired from the nice walk that we had this morning, also because it's really hot out. Hi, Gav. Look at me. Say hi. Oh, there he is. Hi, baby. Say hi to camera. Oh, boop. You boop the camera. Love of my life, Gavin. Bye. Hello, so I returned from the beach and my goal was to read 100 pages of this at the beach. And I did, I'm on page 99. So I can tell you more about this book now. It's like you can have the power of the gods, like it's basically like this thing called a right attached to your soul and it can either be from the noble or the vile because apparently like mortals devoured these gods known as like the mortal and the vile. Like, so when they devoured them, like their souls became like bound, like the mortal souls. So then like now, like these rites will become bound to you and like you use like contracts and stuff like that so like you can be like okay like take this memory and then like make this happen so it's like very much about balance um and there also is like a bit of like you have to commit like sacrifices for stuff so there is some like depictions of self-harm so just be like aware of that before this book so it's really interesting and i just found out that the main character is ace um, Lorena so there are some like discussions on that in here as well which is great and I'm very interested to see like how it's gonna go between like the boy she's betrothed to Julian from her village and also like this heir to the crown and he's mostly known as like the heir I think his name is Alistair but like everyone just calls him the heir and so I'm like very intrigued but yeah I think it was like hinted at that like maybe Julian isn't like totally happy in the relationship and then I'm interested to see like how she feels about like with the air. So I don't know what direction it's gonna go in. I don't think it's really like a love triangle but like conflicting interests. And it's very interesting, like a lot of talk on like the magic system and it's very like structured with how you have to like write out a contract to get your right to do something and basically anyone that like has this power is like bound by like the council so like you can't use your powers in certain ways but because Lorena has been hiding like her whole life she works differently than everyone else and she's like not bound to anything so interested to see how it goes it's very intriguing so far a very interesting setup and I'm enjoying it also this is just so floppy so I'm hoping to finish this today and I feel good. I like got a hundred pages read at the beach and it's 300 and something pages. So I think I need to take a after sun nap. Um, so I'm gonna lie in bed and read for a bit and then we'll see where I get. But I have two packages and I feel like I never open mail on camera anymore. So this is from a website called Dolls Hill and it is a clothing site and I bought this dress. Do I have anywhere to wear this dress? No. I don't want to use the knife over the pack. Terrifies me. Okay. So I bought this dress because it was worn by a member of Twice in their newest like photo shoot, like album photo book, or music video too. And I'm obsessed with it. And it was under hundred dollars. It's so cute. I love it. 
literally I don't know where I would ever wear this but I own it and it's so like it has like these little bows here and it's like a like a ribbed top so I'm, I love it and it looks from appearances I got a medium or no I got a large because the medium was sold out so I definitely think this will fit and like if anything I guess I could get it taken in or something like that if it's too big I feel like it's always better to get bigger than to get smaller and then it like can't cut it off. Okay, and then this package is from Harper Collins. So I don't know what this is. I don't recall requesting. Oh yay! Okay, I wanted to read this so bad and I thought I wasn't gonna get an arc and I did. I love Tessa Bailey. I love Fix Her Up by her and I need to continue on with that series, but I got this and it's inspired by Schitt's Creek. So this is definitely like, uh, when does this come out? July. So I'm probably gonna read this. Should I just read it this weekend instead of Blade of Secrets? No, because Blade of Secrets has been on my TBR for a while, but I think, well, I am going to Florida first week of July. So I think I'm gonna put like, I'm just gonna pack some romances and do it that way. But it's always the struggle of, I don't wanna overfill my suitcase. Oh my God, I'm so happy I wanted this so bad. And I like really thought I wasn't gonna get it. And then it's here, yay. Thank you Avon Books for sending this my way. I'm so excited to read it. This is my little balcony. I feel like I've never showed my outdoor reading stuff. But um, we haven't gotten like an official chair yet, but this beach chair works just fine. And then I have these lights here and then this light here. And then I have enough light to read by at night. And then I have this uh, golfing yard game behind me. I don't really know why it's here. Oh, and there's my guest coming to join the show. Say hi, Gavin. He likes to watch other doggies walking by. So I'm reading What We Devour, continuing on with my weekend readathon, today's book. Can I finish this today? I actually think that I can because I'm currently on page 100 and. 81 and there's 320 something pages so then reading 100 pages gets me to like thing 80 something so i don't know i think it's definitely doable it's like 10 30 i'm not going to bed early so what do i think so far so this book is interesting um it's a very like complex magic system and I don't want to say that I don't understand it because I do but I think sometimes like things are left up to interpretation and I'm not sure how I should be interpreting them so that like confuses me a bit but like overall like it's pretty like grisly and like bloodthirsty and at this point we're like now part two is starting things are like like things happen and our main character is more like cunning than I thought that she was so yes I think like the way the power of the gods works too is different than I thought it would be from the description I guess but maybe I was just putting too much in the description I don't know it's interesting also like the relationship between like her and like the prince or like the heir because it's like I can't like I can't really figure out like what their relationship is <laughs> that's been something that I've been trying to figure out I'm really interested to see like how this is going to end so like the whole purpose is that like there's this door that like prevents the vile gods from coming back but like this door requires sacrifice and they're trying to like make a new door that like doesn't require sacrifice because eventually this door is just going to open because they're not sacrificing enough people and there's definitely like a lot of commentary on like classism and basically like how these rich people are just doing all this stuff and they don't care how it affects like the poor and like how the poor are like expendable to like the crown so it's very interesting So it's now Sunday morning 
And last night, I literally fell asleep at like 11.30 on the couch with like my book open on my chest and my dog just like completely laying on me. And then I woke up again at 3 a.m. and I was like, okay, so I just fell asleep on the couch and didn't finish my book. I was gonna read some, uh, watch something for a bit. Didn't do that, literally only had a half glass of wine. Didn't even finish my glass of wine. So that's how it was going. So, this morning I woke up, took Gavin on a walk, and then I came back, ate something, and finished what we devour. I think I ended up giving this like a three star on Goodreads, rounded up, but it's like really a 2.5 star. It was just like kind of weird. And like I felt like the ending was just like kind of open-ended and like, I don't know, I just feel like it wasn't really like my vibe. It was like dark and cool and like had an intricate magic system and I was interested the whole time reading it, but I think upon reflection, like, I, like, I don't know, it was, it was okay, basically. So that's kind of, I really don't have any like solid fast and true system for rating. I just kind of rate what I feel like it, like is. And this feels like a 2.5 for me, maybe a three, but like really like a 2.5. Cause I just like, Maybe a three for like content wise, but like the fact that like I just was kind of confused the whole time I was reading it like brings my enjoyment down to so like 2.5. So um, I also read a short story last night called The Star Glass Girl, which is literally a chapter from the like love interest perspective from The Moonfire Bride, which The Moonfire Bride has been a Kindle book that I have been reading slowly over like the last two weeks. Um, like I just bring it to work, to, like to lunch and I read it there um, and like on the train and stuff. So that book, I ended up giving 3.5 stars to, I think like I, I enjoyed it. It was good. And then um, the ending was such a whirlwind that I was like, I need to read the next one. So I started the next one and I'm like 6% of the way in. And I'm like considering like maybe I read that, but I really do want to start Blade of Secrets because Trisha Levenzeller is like my all time favorite and just like dedicate myself to reading Blade of Secrets today. Where's the book? I don't think I'll be getting an orange this weekend, but I would rather spend my time reading Blade of Secrets, which is one of my most anticipated books. So yeah, I have my hair up in a messy bun right now. I was considering going to the beach today, but it's like really hot out and I think I'd rather sit on my patio looking at the sun and maybe go for a walk on the beach like later when it's like nighttime-ish, like sunset. But yeah, so Blade of Secrets about a sword maker with anxiety. I literally get instantly pulled into every single one of Trisha's Love and Seller's books and just like fly through them, adore them. So we'll see how far I can get today. Am I gonna hold myself to finishing it? Like maybe in my head, but I won't like say that on camera, but this is actually the same number of pages as What We Devour, so maybe I could do it. And I started What We Devour around the same time yesterday. And I won't be going down the beach, so I'll have time to like sit. I am going to be filming a YouTube video today because I need to do that. So that's really the only other thing that I have to do today. Like I'm not working out, I'm not going down the beach, like sit on the beach for a bit. Unless I finish my wrap up filming and then feel like I really want to, but I just feel like it's too hot. Like I just want to hang out here and then go down there later when it cools off. But yeah, just like a really chill day. And I feel like my makeup's too nice to like want to take it off and go down to the beach, you know? You know when you just like put effort into your appearance and you're like, well, I don't want to unput effort into my I want to take my hair down and look nice and fluffy. So I think I've talked myself out of going, but I live near it, so I'm gonna try and go every weekend in the summer, take advantage of it. But for right now, I can take advantage of it from my patio. It's the view, looking out at it. It's like I'm at the beach, even though I'm not really there. Anyways, I'm gonna start this. I think maybe I'll try and read to the 100 page mark and then I will break for eating snacks and filming my YouTube video so that I can just get that out of the way. Usually I film them at like 10 p.m. at night because I suck. But I'm gonna try and do it nice and early today, but I also do wanna take advantage of the nice weather and go sit outside. So that's my plan. Stay tuned for updates. Okay, so I've been having a lovely afternoon reading A Blade of Secrets, sitting outside and just enjoying life. And I'm on page 106, which is, oh, I think Evan needs to go for a walk because he's being kind of annoying. No, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> yes? I've got you on camera. Now they'll know that you're being a gremlin. 
so I'm about 30% of the way through, so I'm just like flying through it because I only started a little bit ago, but like I'm loving everything about this. I just connect to Trisha Lynn Zeller's characters so much, like especially the stories about sisters and like one sister is very outgoing and the other sister is like very withdrawn and has social anxiety, so I feel like it kind of like reflects me and my sister as well, so like I just get emotional and it's relatable, obviously no magical sword in our lives, but it's awesome and like so Ziva has this power that she can like imbue her blades that she makes or like her weapons that she makes. So like all of the blades that she makes like have magical powers and then she tells this blade her secrets and then now the blade can like get the secrets of anyone that it cuts and it's also like super powerful so this warlord wants to use it for world domination essentially so now they're on the run and they're joined by this handsome mercenary and this scholar so it's like the two sisters with these two men and like so far like there's like so much witty banter too <laughs> like the one sister to our going is like i'm gonna stop you both right there ziva and i acknowledge that you're both big important men now we eat your food it's just like funny things like that and like it's just so adorable and cute and i just literally have loved every single one of her books that I have read and I'm so excited to be reading this finally like it just feels like such a comfort to me on this day and I'm having a lot of fun hi Gavin but like I literally I just want to like live in this book like I love it so much I read so many annotations just like look at that it's beautiful amazing stunning all right we're gonna go on a walkie yeah you want to go on a walkie <laughs> He's so cute! Like, give your nosy. I'm obsessed with him. That's uh, all for now, but yeah, I highly suggest that you check out this book if you just want, like, or any of for sure 11 sellers books, really, if you just, like, want, like, a fun read that will, like, fill you with so much happiness and warmth, because that's what her books are to me. Okay, checking in with the vlog. I'm now on page 158 of Blade of Secrets. Literally adore this with my whole soul. Um, I just finished filming my April May wrap up. Filming two months worth of books to wrap them up. I feel like I don't even know what was coming out of my mouth, but you know what, it's done. And that video will be up on Tuesday, so I'll have something to post on Tuesday. So that'll be good. And I think I might change my upload day to Saturdays. So this is probably coming out on a Saturday, and then I'll start uploading on Saturdays. We'll see how that change goes, because I think that maybe more people are going to be watching on Saturdays, and maybe that like a lot of people upload on Tuesday. So that me like uploading on Tuesday has like started to hurt my channel performance. We'll see. Trying to play the YouTube game a little bit. Like views aren't everything, but also like if you not even comparing yourself to other people but when you compare yourself to your past self and you're like I'm not doing as good as I used to do it kind of stings a bit but you know what I'm just here having a good time and doing what I like so I don't want to like give it up because the numbers are discouraging because I just do enjoy the community aspect of everything but that is that so yes loving this like the romances are starting to blossom and there's some tension between the sisters so like ugh, like this is just like this is why I love reading YA or like these types of stories and these types of books and I can just tell that this book is going to stay with me and like I'm just gonna love it forever and I'm only halfway through but like I'm halfway through and it's like halfway through the day so I feel like that's a win for me so yes okay so it's super late but I finished Blade of Secrets, which means that I officially finished two books in two days so I would like to say that this weekend readathon was a six I read 600 pages plus because I read 200 300 I read two 300 and so page books and like I'm feeling pretty proud of myself honestly and this book is a new instant favorite of mine I knew I was gonna love it but like Trisha Levin Settler just every time just gives me something new to adore about her work the social anxiety descriptions um not that i personally have social anxiety but knowing people that do and like seeing the way that they react to the world around them um i feel like i just kind of got like more of a window into like that kind of experience and just like seeing the sisterly bond and like how they would literally do anything for one another like i kind of want to cry ending the book kind of made me want to cry and like 
the romance was just like slow burn and sweet and like Trisha Levenseller's like kissing scenes are always just so good. They're always so good. In every single one of her books, I like adore the kissing scene. <laughs> and it's never like, you know, I'm all about like, oh, spikes, but like it's never anything super spicy, right? Like it's a YA book, it's just a kissing scene, but I just like love it. Like it's just like so adorable and sweet and like, oh, literally she's probably one of my favorite authors because like literally every single one of her books has been such a hit for me like wow and this is a duology and i actually just saw like an announcement that she was signed to do a trilogy maybe and then to do a companion novel to the shadows between us which was another amazing amazing novel following um the sister oops so yes. Also, like, do you ever read a novel and then like, while you're reading that novel, you're like, I should read this other novel because it gives me similar vibes. So like, this novel gave me Sky in the Deep vibes. Not that it was like super similar, but I just felt like I was thinking about Sky in the Deep, and then I was like, oh, I've read Sky in the Deep and The Girl of the Sea came back, so I should read Fable. And I think I do have Fable on my Kindle, so like, I think I might put that on my July TBR. I also when I was reading books like a week or so ago, I was like, I read Crown of Coral and Pearl and I haven't read the sequel yet so I think I want to read the sequel to that which is Kingdom of Sand and Stone so I like have just like a running list that I keep of like when these thoughts occur and so I can write it down so yeah I just love that there's always so many books in the world to read that is such a general thought but whatever like I literally have nothing but amazing things to say about this book like it was just like such an adventure so much fun like i obviously like read it in a day and it didn't feel like as much of a chore as the other book i would say um like i just like really enjoyed my time reading this and i'm just so happy that i got to spend a weekend like just reading a lot and i don't know what i'm gonna read next but i'm gonna make my way through the list of my june tbr and i'm already writing down what i want to read on my july tbr and I don't know. I'm super excited and I think I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow when I wake up I'll decide what novel I want to start on next for my June TBR but I think my options are Realm Breaker, Sweet and Bitter Magic, Nature of Witches or like the actual novels that I have left and also I wanted to reread Reaper at the Gates in July to read Sky Beyond the Storm. So we'll see. But I don't want to like put too much on my TBR. That's gonna be it for my vloggy vlog thank you so much for watching i had fun doing like a weekend type vlog let me know if you'd like to see more of these in the future because i think that they're fun and have some fun reads books and i'll catch you guys in the next one